Hey guys, so just recently I received some filament from GST3D. Uh, this was the print we did live on the stream. As we were preparing for that live stream, I was just kind of playing around looking on, on uh, Thingiverse and came across this model. It's a 1911 Colt. Uh, it's a 3D printed gun. It's not real. It's a toy. Don't freak out about it. It's all good. But I figured it would be a pretty cool test for this filament for the printer and everything to just go ahead and print it out and just see how it looks in real life. So I'm going to be using the GST3D filament. This is going to be in their blue. And we're going to use it on the Artillery Genius and see how it turns out. It's going to be about an eight hour print. So I will set it all up and I'll see it at the time lapse. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like this print actually took 10 hours and 35 minutes, which is a far cry from the seven, <laughs> 7 hours and I believe 50 some minutes it was supposed to take. But that's alright. I am really surprised it turned out. I honestly thought I, when I came out this morning it would be just spaghetti. But it looks really good now. Let's see if I can get it off the bed here. I reach over here. Perfect. That looks really good. Now, the question is on these supports. Will the supports just come off easily? This is all part of the, the print. It's uh, This was not added by the slicer. This was part of the model. And the supports are actually pretty, pretty stiff on there. So I might have to do some work on that. But look at the quality of that. I'll get the light on here. There's some writing on here. I can't really read what the writing is. I'm just surprised that there was any kind of writing on there. And it attempted to print. The knurling on the grip. The screws. The, <laughs> the little slot in the screws. I'm really surprised that turned out. <laughs> That's pretty detailed. That is really cool. And the GST 3D filament looks like it just did a great job. I mean, it's smooth. This was done at the 0.2 layer height. It feels smooth. I don't feel any layer lines to it. If you're running your fingernail across it, of course you can feel something there. But that just really turned out great. Let me play with this a little bit. Let me see if I can get those uh, supports off it real quick. Let's see what it looks like afterward. <laughs> there we go. That actually came off fairly decent. Just need a little bit of sanding, bring them down completely even. Got to square that one off a little bit right there. <laughs> Size-wise, it's realistic. <laughs> Good thing is, with it being a blue, it's they can't be confused for anything other than a prop. That's that's just it's just for looks. But that is just really cool. I get I like that. That's the first time I ever saw a model like that on Thingiverse. So I just when I saw it, I just had to print it. <laughs> But my goodness, that printed out really good. That's cool. Hey anyway guys, thank you very much for joining. I appreciate you watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm uh, trying to get back into making videos again. And uh, 
uh, with working everything it's been really rough I'll, I'll be honest with you but uh, uh, hopefully get back into things a little bit better here and get just some more content going thank you very much for watching take care and I'll catch you in the next one